Hello everyone, welcome back. We are sitting on my floor yet again. I feel like a lot of my videos, I start by sitting on the ground. And today we are gonna be testing out some weird Wish products that I got off the website wish.com. And these are all around cleaning. So these are all cleaning gadgets and cleaning products. And I wanna see because typically they are very inexpensive or just really unusual, I wanna see if they actually work. Some of them do. I have tested out some Wish products before and they work really well, and again, I keep using them. So I just keep going back and buying more. I can't help myself. So let's go and see if any of these work. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every Saturday. And without further ado, let's get to some vlogging. And actually the first product I have right here, and it's good timing because I do need to clean these. And that's one of those little like wish brush cleaning things that like whizzes the brushes around. <laughs> Hopefully this works, but we are going to test it out. We're gonna see what it's like. And I have a whole bunch of makeup brushes that need cleaning anyway. All right, so now we're on the floor in my bathroom. This isn't weird at all. Can you see the toilet? No? Okay, cool. And I chose the floor to test out this particular contraption because I do have another product I need to test out to clean the floors. So this works out well for everyone. This is apparently going to clean and dry your brushes. It says here you can clean 90% of the makeup brushes. So I, I'm assuming there are some types that just aren't gonna work with this particular machine. You pour water and whatever cleaning liquid you're gonna use into the little irrigation. Wow, that's fancy. Fancy. And it says down here at the bottom in very bold letters, don't use it for more than five seconds at a time. This is very important. All right, let's open up this guy here. Is this more instructions? Oh, visual. Okay, so this right here is actually very helpful in showing me how to use the product correctly, how to make sure that I'm actually going to clean the brushes correctly, and making sure that I have all of the pieces that I need to actually get this done. So we have the handle, check, bowl thing. We got some stuff, Woo! got some stuff in the middle too. These are all our little like silicone rubber cases. I assume that's to hold the brushes, maybe, I don't know. So it seems that, if I'm understanding this correctly. You take this, this actually has that little spot for batteries and it has a little button here. So I have to take this and somehow, I have to, <laughs> I have to figure that out. Somehow I have to get this in here and then it goes in and you whir it for five seconds and it's going to clean the brushes and you put all the water in there. Got it. But I'm not understanding, is this? What are, what are these? What do these do? No, there's no way. I'm totally 100% missing a piece. Maybe it fell out when I was like sorting things. Ha! I found it. Wow, I was like, this is gonna be a very short video. Okay, so I have my little container. It has some water in it, a little bit of soap, and I have this, which has batteries in it now. We're ready to go. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I wanna test out after I've actually done this is if, oh, which side is it? There we go. If there is any product residue still on the brush after I've washed it in this thing. Also soap, that was a, another thing that I realized. I was like, wait, aren't we gonna get a lot of soap on this? Okay, so first of all, I need to make sure that everything is like nice and firmly pressed in. It almost looks like, like a wand, right? This is a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Whoops, let's do this, five seconds. Total, with clicking the button, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. It's still all stained, it has like a ton of products still on it. There's like a ton of like residue and stuff. Did, like, did it touch the water? I feel like it did. And I'm not pushing down at the bottom either. And now it has a bunch of soap on it, which isn't great, so let me like spin that off. Okay, now it's spun off, still has some soap on it. Wow, I'm really glad I didn't use one of my really expensive brushes. All right, let's try one more, like a bigger one and see if that makes a difference. All right, we got this guy and he has foundation on him, which I find is such a pain to take off. So I'm hoping that this one will work. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the whole, the whole experience. Wait, what's this base for? Did I miss something? Where is this supposed to go? Oh, it goes over, wait. No, it doesn't go over top. It doesn't have a hole in it. I'm confused. Does it go on the bottom? No, nope. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is for. All right, let's do it. Brush number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. Whoa, 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 hold on. I was moving all over the place. Let's try and like wedge that in a bit more. That's as far in as it's going. I can't get it in any further. Two, three, four, five. Nada enchilada, my friends. This is not touching the foundation on here at all. It is mostly dry, but it's also kind of frayed it now. Oh, wow everyone, what an incredible waste of money. So that one definitely did not work for me. I did not have a good experience from it. My brushes are now frayed. <laughs> that looks so sad. And it didn't even really touch any of the foundation that was on my brushes. So this is a bust, don't do it. There are some really good like um, cleaning pads though that I really like, hang on. If you wanna clean your makeup brushes properly, get one of these things. They stick to the, the base of your sink and then you just use that to kind of massage a lot of the product off. Like for me, I deal with that with foundation is like my big struggle. So I find that this really gets it like deep into the fibers of the brush. It doesn't bend them or break them or they don't flake off or anything like that. And it just works really well. So yeah, go get one of these things. It's great. Okay, <laughs> now let's wash my floor. And to clean my floors, we are gonna be using this little, it's like a robot mop. I'm very excited about it, it's very cute. I've tried the robot vacuums before, the ones that clean dry, and they're fine. They do have their ups and downs. I prefer, honestly, like my little like standing, little Dyson guy. This is how I vacuum, apparently. But this one is wet, so I thought that'd be kind of neat to try out and see if it does a good job, because no one likes mopping floors. I'm just gonna say it. Vacuuming, that's kind of fun, because you can like see what you're doing, but mopping, just can't get into it. So I came with this. It has its little like little mopping ring thing, which I guess I'll put on. Oh, oh it's, <laughs> it's a lot more difficult to get on than I thought it would be. Oh, she's feisty. There, haha. <laughs> Got it. So it came with this and it has its little instructions right here. So let's investigate here. So it says the components, it has a charging interface. Charging interface? Is that like, like under here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Charging interface, the little guy right there. Oh, this isn't gonna be good though because it has a little um, like adapter thing which it does not have. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna check the packaging. <laughs> nope, there's nothing in the packaging either, so that's great. Already, this is basically useless because I can't even charge it. Did I get everything else though? Fixer, what's a fixer? Fixer is on the bottom, apparently. It's just part of the contraption, and then it just has the cloth. No, it has two cloth. Oh, it could be used for dry mopping too, just in case you were interested. Interested in a product that can't be turned on. So it actually came with, this is the, this is the dry mop and it came with, or was supposed to come with, a wet mop. And it's saying here in their instructions, do not use the fluffy one for wet floors. So that's great. So I bought it for using wet, and it didn't even come with the components to use it wet. So this was just a waste of money. Awesome. That's O for two wish. O for two. Look guys, I actually got it to work on the hardwood floors until at least it runs out of battery. It's just spinning away, find something, changes course. Like it is working, I just didn't get the pieces that I needed for it. Let's see if it gets any like dust and stuff. Oh, I just totally missed that corner. Wow, well, at least I get it for 24 minutes before it runs out of battery. Oh, or disappears under my couch. Don't worry everyone, I know you were worried that I wouldn't clean my floors, but don't worry, I got you with yet another product. And this is a product that I've personally wanted to try for a while, so I'm really excited about it. And there are these little, like, dusting socks. Oh my gosh, I love them. Look how pretty they are. So we're gonna put them on, we're gonna dust my floors, and we're gonna see if I pick a bunch of stuff up, if it just kinda moves it around, if they fit, they stay on, you know, the important things. And fun fact, I have ginormous feet, so let's see if these even fit. Ooh, they do! Oh, nice. Okay, maybe I ordered a big size because I feel like this would be enormous for most humans. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow, okay. I feel like I'm skating. This is kind of fun, but a little bit exhausting as well in that I feel like I have to like keep dancing into the corner, you know? That was really fun. I'm gonna lie to you. This is quite enjoyable. I don't feel like I'm cleaning any floors, but I am having fun. So I just attempted to dust 
also, also dance. A dance dust. And I was moving around any of the big pieces that were on the floor. Like, I have kids. They have like crumbs that fall on the floor constantly. Didn't really pick up any of those. But you can see the bottom there. They still look pretty clean. So I think they're just like, they're cute, but they're not super functional. Didn't really work that well as a cleaning product, although my son did enjoy like zooming around the house in them. And I'm sure he like picked out some dust and it also kept him occupied for like 20 minutes. So that's a win. All right, we're back upstairs. And this time we're gonna be testing out a wrinkle release like dryer ball. And I've never tried one of these things before. And I thought it looked really interesting. So I have it up on my my screen right here. And basically you can see you fill it up with water. It has like some foam in the middle and then it shoots steam. Although it looks like it's glowing, like some sort of crazy asteroid. And you put it in with your clothes in the dryer and it's supposed to keep everything really soft and not have any wrinkles. And I like that. So I put on some laundry a little bit earlier and it is done now. So I'm gonna go and stick it in the dryer and let's fill this guy up with a little water. Doesn't say how much. Can you see the little foam guy? Boop, boop. I don't know, it feels soaked now. It has lots of, the foam seems to have a lot of um, water in it, which I think is part of the, the whole process and how this thing works. It is a lot heavier now. All right, so I'm gonna stick it in on top of all of my children's clothes and we'll see if this keeps them wrinkle free. I also have a couple of shirts in here that tend to wrinkle of mine. So we're gonna see about that and uh, we'll see what happens. Bye clothes. It's like super loud in there. I can hear it like smacking around. I could not use this and do my laundry at night because I feel like it would just wake up the kids. It's like bam, bam. All right, I didn't notice any sort of immediate difference when they came out of the dryer. I wanted to see if they, I don't know, felt fluffier or softer or something like that. I actually ended up washing my son's pillow and that actually really helped with keeping it kind of fluffy because it's like a harder ball thing. So what I'm gonna do is I've stuck it into the dryer with my towels, so we'll try that. And also I'm gonna take this, um, this shirt which is super wrinkled and I'm gonna try and stick it in with the ball thing to see if it releases wrinkles, question mark. Okay, towels, how are we feeling? Woo, it's a little steamy. Which kind of makes sense, I guess, since that little ball thing is releasing steam into my towels. Like, my towels feel the same. They don't feel any different. They feel hot. In terms of, like, wrinkles, these still have minor wrinkles. And I was honestly just gonna throw in this shirt with the little ball thing, but honestly, I feel like just throwing in a wrinkled shirt with, like, a just a wet towel or a, a wet washcloth or something will do exactly the same thing. I do like it for like fluffing up pillows though. That was like a nice thing that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> but other than that, honestly, just use a washcloth or just get a little handheld steamer. Those things are great. This next product right here is for cleaning the outside you can see of the pots and pans and it's supposed to make them all shiny and new which I'm excited about. What, it's free? Oh man, pretty sure I paid for mine. So I have a pan right here, which is pretty disgusting on the bottom of it. So I thought we would try using one of these and seeing if we can make this look nice and new again. So first things first is I actually have to take off a part of the little blue, like the plastic outline around it. This is sort of keeping all the fibers together, I think anyway. And then we're gonna wet it and then we're gonna clean this thing. I'm like trying to get all the blue stuff off the outside here and it's not coming off the easiest. I'm gonna have to get some scissors. I can't get this. Okay, just put some water on it. It's like little like fibers or something. Like I don't understand, but like, I guess let's do this. Am I missing any anything here? It is getting up a little bit, but like, I don't know, I was expecting magic. Use some washing powder, will be more better. Okay, this is not abrasive at all. This is just like very soft little fibers. I mean like some of it's coming up, but like I'm sure I could also do this with like a cloth and get the same result. Okay, you can see it is coming up, which is impressive, but let's see if I can get the same thing with soap and like the scrubby end of a sponge. Okay, you can see it is coming up and I'm applying the same amount of pressure and I'm washing it the exact same way. So, I mean, 
not really understanding the benefit of this little brush thing. Like I figured this was some sort of weird miracle brush that was gonna be abrasive enough to like get stuff up or have something on it that's like a cleaning solution, but like I'm genuinely not seeing much, of, if any different from like me just using a sponge and going at this. Actually, I could probably just use my little drill brush thing that I tested out in another video. That would work really well. I have to know, have you guys tried any cleaning gadgets or products from Wish? Have any of them worked for you? Leave me a comment down below. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every Saturday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome weekend and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.